don't care what people say about high points. I really like these things. What am I hearing? Batman! What'd you do that for? Justice. What about your weird car? You have a good dentist. Burglarize me now. Sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is a security system that experts trust. They ship the system directly to your door and set up is quick and easy. At under one dollar per day, Simply Safe is less than half the cost of other traditional security brands. There's never a long-term contract, and you can start and stop at any time without any hidden fees. One thing that I love most about Simply Safe is there is no need to schedule a service appointment or wait around for a technician to show up. Show up. Unlike most security services, there's no need to wait around for these installation experts or have them come into your home because installation is so easy you can do it all yourself. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, you'll always know what's going on inside and outside your home or office from simply checking the app on your phone. There's a wide variety of devices to choose from so you can set up a custom system to perfectly fit your needs. They have advanced response technology to confirm the threat is real and get you help there fast. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first months free. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo rants to learn more. And don't forget, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. So as a lot of you guys know, I am a developer in Modern Warfare, and so we just came out with a Modern Warfare 2 uh, beta. So I'm actually, uh, I actually own the company. So it's, it's all me. Um, so I was going to walk you guys through a little bit of where um, we got a little bit of our inspiration. So these are some of the guns that I personally, Matt, put in the game, uh, in the beta. And you guys were playing with or saw. Some of them you couldn't play with, but you could see them in there. And so you know they're coming in the real game that, I am, that I'm putting out as the owner of the company and developer and producer. Uh, so let's just walk through some of the guns. Um, they all have real stupid names because I assume uh, legal stuff. Uh, not that I assume. I know because it's, it's my company. First gun up here, this is MP5, HK MP5. And this gun is in the game, but it is called the Lockman Sub. Chambered in 9mm, little submachine gun. And then this one is called the Lockman 556, the HK93. Um, also short gun, but chambered in 556, a bigger round. So we have the Lockman 556, the Lockman Sub. Right here, this is the SCAR. This is a SCAR chambered in 5.56. We got a short barrel on it. This gun is in the game as well. We call it, in my game, the TAC-56. And then over here, we have the M4, which is kind of called the M4 in real life, too. And then we have a Benelli M4. This gun is in the game as well. We call it the Expedite 12. It is a 12-gauge semi-auto shotgun. And then this gun, which is actually the reason we decided to do this video, was because this gun is the only 50 cal in the game currently. Uh, it is the Signal 50, and this one in real life is called the GM6 Lynx. Uh, it's a very interesting gun, and in the game you can run around and, you know, no-scope your friends with it. Um, in real life, probably, probably shouldn't no-scope your friends with it. Or scope your, don't scope your friends with it either. Um, also, it's just hard to no-scope anything, because it's a big, heavy 50 cal. So we are going to actually shoot all these guns today, pretending we are in Modern Warfare the entire time. Not really, we're just going to pretend we're at Demolition Ranch. And I got some interesting targets um, that I uh, have to destroy. So um, these are computer hard drives. And uh, so see what happened was, Mayor came to me and she's like, Matt, um, I don't know what's going on, but like our bank account seems to be just 
not up where it used to be and it seems to be constantly losing money every month and don't you keep record of uh all your expenses on your hard drives and i was like mm -hmm, yeah, yep and she's like cool i want to go over some of that stuff with you and figure out where all our money's going and if uh you've been spending too much at the gun stores and i was like yeah cool 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 no problem let me just go get my hard drives and we'll uh We'll go over it tomorrow. Tomorrow's good. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. So I brought all my hard drives out here that have all of my expenditures at Apache Rifle Works. And um, they're going to accidentally get shot. And I'm going to be like, oh, man, Mayor, they're not readable. Blockman sub. <laughs> Nine millimeter. Just going to plink around, see how, uh, how it'd be. You know, if you're in the game. Oh, I missed. Listen, something happened, those were blanks or something. Dude, this is not working. I'm just not gonna shoot that one. Either. We are going at the hard drives with a nine millimeter. So these things are packed full of receipts, so they should, uh, they should stop a lot of bullets. I think we skinned it off the table. I'm not sure where this thing's shooting, but it doesn't seem to be shooting straight. Let's shoot it again. Okay, I aimed a little higher that time. Oh, so I did hit it twice. So the first one looks like it hit right there. And then I aimed a little higher to hit right there. So we're just gonna have to aim a little higher and a little right with this thing, I think. Here we go. Still kind of weird. I'm gonna shoot again. These are weird. Not sure what's happening with this gun. Let's go see what happened. Okay, I was hitting them every time. I just thought they would move more, but I mean, those are catching the bullets. So this is a small thing of hard drives right there in the front and that moved out of the way. And then I started shooting this one, hit it there, hit it there, hit it there. So I hit it every time. I just thought they would move a lot more. So nothing went through with nine millimeter, not even close. So we are going to have to shoot it with something bigger, which all we have is shotgun, five, five, six and 50 left. So we're going, we're going up pretty fast in this video. Lockman 556. Five, Just shoot some targets first. I haven't shot this thing in a while. That's a cool gun. We're just gonna go through the 5.56's shooting targets first, just so you guys can see them. So you can see kind of what the realistic version of the game gun is, and then we will actually shoot the hard drives over there. Real life, this one's called the Daniel Defense Mark 18. We got a Elkan Spectre on top. That's a sweet gun. But yeah, classic short barrel. This one's actually a pistol, little M4 style on this 5.56. And the TAC 56, AKA Scar. All right, just got some irons on here, got a suppressor. Woo! All right, let's see what we can do over here. That is less than ideal. <laughs> I thought this was just loose and fell off, you know, rattled off or whatever. It actually broke. So that is broken metal. It just broke. And that is an FN sight, the sight that comes on a scar. And it broke and fell off in the heat of the battle. Back with the M4. We're gonna go at our hard drives and hopefully the sight doesn't break and fall off. That did some damage. Dang, okay, so went straight at the little ones. I figure out which one was first. They were all taped together, but it busted the tape. Looks like that was the back one. Yeah, so there's the front. 
And then these were in the middle, so you can see where the 9mm is hitting and bending those, but the 5.56 just busted right through. Went through that one, and I don't think it went into this. I think it just busted through and then through all that powder. Yeah, there's there's some jacket. That looks like, oh, that, that is jacket. There's copper jacket there. So 5.56ers are going so fast that they explode like that. So I think, uh, yeah, it just exploded and went through the first one, but then was in a million pieces and didn't have enough penetrating power to get any deeper, which is something that I've always got plenty of. Lots of penetrating power so I can get deep with shoot, shoot it with guns. Expedite 12. Dumb name. Cool gun. All right, Benelli M4 is, I mean, if you're going shotgun for defense or offense, this is your gun. In this Expedot 12, I have here loaded bird shot first, and then following it up is buckshot, double lot, and then following that up is a slug. And we're just gonna fire them all three straight into the hard drives. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Not much, a little bit, probably a lot. Let's go see. One of our big ones fell off too. Ooh, that got hit with something that did not go through. The uh, birdshot actually did pepper it pretty good. You can see all those little holes are birdshot. And then these big ones, you can see buckshot did go through. There's our slug right there. So it looks like this one was behind it. So that one is dented just from this one denting out so much. So slug went right through that hole, stopped on our second one. There's actually most of the slug and it's very hot. Here's the rest of the slug right here. And here's the wad. So caught everything, and but did not go through. I mean, if you had this on your chest and someone shot you with birdshot, buckshot, slug, you might get a little birdshot around the edges, but that thing stopped everything serious. We only have one thing left to do, and that's to shoot the weird name, weird name. What was it, Matt? The something 50, the Vision 50. That's what it was. Here we have the GM6 Lynx. Um, people are like, it's great because the whole barrel reciprocates. So it's really good with recoil. It's not. This gun's annoying. Like the Barrett is way better. But we are here to shoot it today. And I'm going to shoot it video game style. We're going, we have three guys over there. Really evil guys. You can see they all have mean faces because they're all bad guys. And I'm going to try on the first guy to no scope him. 
the second guy to quick scope him, the third guy, 360 no scope. And when I say I'm gonna try, I mean I'm gonna for sure do it because it's obviously easy. GM6 links coming in hot. Man, I might actually might get hit with brass when I'm shooting from the hip here. We're gonna no scope first guy. I winged him! <laughs> we are going to quick scope second guy. Shot his legs out! We are going to 360 no scope that guy. Here we go. All right, it's worth another try. Oh, it's so close. Since I wasn't holding it right, we limp wristed this thing a little bit. Yep, we got a good old jam. That thing is not cool either. Get out of there. All right, we've got one more round. This gun's not light. Ow! Brass coming into my elbow hurts. Look at that. That got me pretty good. Okay. He's invincible. We're going to let him live now. We knocked a chunk out of his skull. This guy, though he didn't fall, he's dead. That was a good no scope. This guy, I <laughs> quick scoped him in the knee or something, because it just went boom down low and he just all fell. He gone. This guy, whoo, he dodged some bullets. This one, I don't know how, didn't ricochet into him. It hit the ground right there, and I thought it would still come and take him out, but it did not, unless this is new. Oh, we might have actually, Hit him in the shin a little bit, but he's still fighting, so he deserves to stay. You earned it, buddy. I used to think you had to pull back the entire barrel every time you racked it, because um, if you do this, the whole barrel will come back and it's, you're fighting against that whole spring. Then I learned you just go up here and then you only pull back the bolt. So I was just kind of dumb. 50 BMG going, and this is just a full metal jacket, going at, is that mag not seated? Listen, GM6 links, not that good. Is the mag not in? It's not. Maybe. Uh, so you can see actually, it's hitting right there. What, what had happened, I think it was like not all the way seated in the back when I shoved the mag in there. And so then it jammed this round down in between there and then it wouldn't pull it up, it was stuck. That never happens in the Barrett because they're double stacked mags, so. I just hate how much everyone loves this gun because it's not that good. All right, we're in now. Coming in hot on the hard drives. Jeez, that's a lot of power. Looks like all my gun purchasing history is good to go. I think this might've been the first one. Uh, it's the only one left on the table. Boom! Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Oh, wow. Okay, so then it went in here. All right, probably, I'm not sure, but it definitely went straight through these. Didn't hardly deform them at all. It also is not really yawing. It's still straight through the middle. This one, it went in straight through the middle, then came out the side. This one, it blew it apart, but it looks like none of them are hit. And then this one, straight through the middle as well. All my hard drives, Mayor, they all, uh, they got fried, but it's not a big deal. I got it all up here, so I'll just I'll just rattle off. It's like six guns. I'll just rattle off what I bought in the last year. Um, no worries. Don't don't even need to look at my hard drives. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite Modern Warfare 2 gun that you've seen so far in the game and in real life. Which would you rather have uh, to uh, defend against the bad guys who are definitely attacking? Let me know. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll make more um, of these kind of videos as more guns are unveiled in the game. I mean, as I unveil them in my game. I'll, uh, yeah, get some more guns out here. And I always like that opportunity if I don't have a gun and I see it in the game. And I'm like, man, you know what I don't have? I don't have a FAMAS. And we need one. So let me know what you guys want us to get, what you want to see in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you. 
and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. <laughs>